Today we're going to be talking about the water cycle. We'll go over some vocabulary words and we have some pictures to go along with them. To start us off, we'll go over the words evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Evaporation is when energy from the sun heats up the surface of the earth, causing the temperature of the water in our rivers, lakes, and oceans to rise. When this happens, some of the water evaporates into the air, turning into a gas called vapor. Plants and trees also lose water to the atmosphere through their leaves. This process is known as transpiration. The next word we're going to cover is condensation. As water vapor rises up into the sky, it cools and turns back into a liquid, forming clouds. This process is called condensation. Currents high up in the air move these clouds around the globe. This is why when you look into the sky and it looks like the clouds are moving, it's because they really are. Precipitation is our next word. When too much water has condensed, the water droplets in the clouds become too big and heavy for the air to hold them and so they fall back down to earth as rain, snow, hail, or sleet. This is a process known as precipitation. Collection is our final word. The fallen precipitation is then collected in bodies of water, such as rivers, lakes, and oceans, from which, where it will eventually evaporate back into the air, beginning the cycle all over again. Here you can see Ocean water is evaporating because the sun is heating the water. That evaporated water then condenses and turns into a cloud. No, this is a process known as condensation. The clouds move throughout condensation, so here you see it over a mountainside. The clouds then are full of heavy water and it precipitates, known as precipitation. That will be in the form of either rain, hail, sleet, or snow. Once the water falls through precipitation, then it is collected into our collected bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers, and oceans. Here you can see that lakes, rivers, and oceans are the water that collects precipitation. How is water truly collected? Collection is fallen precipitation in collected bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers, and oceans. From these collected bodies of water, it will then evaporate back into the air. How is it collected? That depends on where it lands. Sometimes it lands in rivers, lakes, and oceans, but sometimes it lands on vegetation and evaporates back into the air. Some of this water is absorbed by plant roots. When it's cold, this collected water can be in the form of ice, glaciers, or snow. Water that reaches land directly can become surface runoff. That is where it hits a surface that is above an area of water and it will run off into a collected body of water. Other water that hits land can be absorbed by the ground and will make its way back to the ocean eventually. When does the water cycle stop? The water cycle never stops because it is a continuous process that is ongoing. The water cycle has been going on since the beginning of the earth and will continue to occur for the rest of time. 